Hello my lovelies. I haven't been blogging too much lately. Um, as you can probably imagine, I've been quite busy. I've been at the hospital Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, almost all day those days. Um, I've been having um, tests done. Uh, they want to make sure the cancer hasn't spread to any of my other organs, my bones, my liver, my lungs, my chest. So I've been doing lots of tests and I met my oncologist and he's very sweet and very nice and very worried about me. But um, we have a plan of attack now. I'm starting chemo on Tuesday. I have a meeting with my oncologist Tuesday morning to find out the results of these other tests. But if all goes well, I will be starting chemo Tuesday afternoon. Which I'm kind of looking forward to because it feels like all this sitting and waiting, you're just letting the cancer, you know, have its way with your body and it, it's not a nice feeling. And, and there's nothing you can really do until you start treatment. And at least when you start treatment, you know, you're doing something about it. So in that way, I'm looking forward to Tuesday. Um, but I'm also not looking forward to it because I feel fine right now. I don't feel sick. Um, I don't have any symptoms. But I know that the chemo will make me sick. So it's like, it's kind of, it's, it's a very strange place to be where you're allowing them to intravenously feed um, basically a, a toxin, a poison into your body that not only is going to kill off some of the cancer cells, but also going to kill off um, a lot of your, the cells that you need. Um, so I'm, I'm a little anxious and apprehensive. I'm more anxious about the test results that we're getting back um, because if it has moved into any of my other organs, I'm pretty much up Shit's Creek. But we're thinking positively and the doctor doesn't think that it's metastasized and moved, so um, feeling hopeful. But my my cancer is a very aggressive form of cancer. When I first got diagnosed in England two weeks ago, um, they couldn't feel any lymph node involvement. And now, um, a week ago, they, they felt my lymph nodes were a little swollen. And now they're saying that um, there's definitely cancer there and they can feel it. So that's pretty quick. My cancer loves me. <laughs> <sighs> this really is a mind fuck. Any type of cancer is a mind fuck. You know, at the moment, I'm stage three. If I have metastases, that would mean I'm stage four, which sucks. Stage three is, it's not early. It's not found early, but it's, it's before it, it's gotten out of control. Um, and it's still, there's still a very good prognosis for stage 3, which is locally advanced breast cancer. So I'm hoping to stay in that category. <laughs> um, that, that's my, my wish for the weekend. And uh, my lovely friend Andreas just did a, a video for me. And it was very touching. And it's true, you do find out who your friends are and who's there for you. I think I've been quite lucky. Um, not with the whole cancer thing, but I've been quite lucky with um, the friends I've surrounded myself with. Most of them are, are sticking around, which for now, which is good. And helps me stay um, more positive. <sighs> My parents are trying to do stuff for me, like, you know, take me out to movies and going to plays and stuff to try to get my mind off things, but 
I usually end up just having anxiety attacks throughout the whole thing and not being able to, to really watch them. But um, my doctor did put me on uh, Ativan, which is a sedative tranquilizer for anxiety. It doesn't do very much. <laughs> but I guess when you have this much anxiety, So I can't wait for treatment. Looking forward to it. Love you all. Laters. Hi, Dad.